Hi everyone welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing well today happy mother's day thank you for joining me on this video please remember to like share and subscribe and please turn on your notification as well and put it to all so that you do not miss out on any of the uploads so after a two-year pause on the build out of factory space in white mall st catherine to facilitate research into the Bamboo Housing, Chairman of the Bamboo Industry Association of Jamaica, BIAJ, Robert Rainford, said they are now months away from recruiting a local research lead to get the project off the ground. So they were doing this a few years back, maybe co because of COVID and all of this stuff that was going on, they had to put it on hold and now they have resumed and this is exciting because remember we have a gap of housing about a hundred thousand they're saying hundred thousand homes that are needed that's how big the gap is right and we see what people are living in especially from lower middle income and lower and the lower income scale as well right they are not able to afford the expensive homes that cost millions and millions of dollars and even if they have a piece of land to go out to the hardware store and purchase all these products and then hire contractors to build a home they just don't have the funds for that so we like to hear of options and we're going to present them whenever we hear of them and when you have like a competition going on then maybe some of these expensive building products like the block and the steel will come down because we're seeing like every few months at the hardware they're saying that these things are going up so how are they going to build homes if they continue to increase the cost of these goods right so we have to look at options cheaper options to get more people into home and i don't have to tell you because you see on youtube what people are living in caves people are living with just two pieces of zinc above their heads people are living in homes with big gaps in them like animals rain everybody everything can come in there right there's just no protection so we need to get people in affordable homes right um something that they are able to afford that matches their pocket right or matches what they can borrow from an institution or from the national housing trust um you know if they're contributing members of that trust right so apart from affordability the home still needs to be safe 
it needs to look good because of course we want to be living in something that looks good and also it needs to be functional right so it has to do what it's supposed to do it's a special bamboo called guara and i'm going to go into that a little bit later um they use that special bamboo to replace the steel wherever you, you are using the steel this is where the bamboo would come into play right and i'm going to show you pictures as well and there are options choose to do the cladding on the outside you know with cement of course or you could choose to do both inside and outside with cement for further protection right so that is an option let's look at the guada bamboo right? this is the world's strongest bamboo so guada bamboo is specialized in the largest strongest and most economical important bamboo of the americas guada right guada bamboo is used in all sorts of building applications and is considered to be the strongest bamboo in the world in south america it is widely used in the construction or engineered laminated panels we grow bamboo plants for national and international plantation projects harvest and process bamboo poles for building applications japan uses bamboo as well for homes and they experience high volume of earthquakes these homes are standing up to the earthquake because they said it's flexible right it moves with um outside forces right so that's a plus right there it's not about politics right it's about putting people in homes and looking and exploring options that are available i'm sure you've seen people going around on youtube and what people are living in in 2023 it's just mind-boggling so if somebody is going to come up with other options cheaper options for the poor or for those who cannot afford it this is just geared towards people who cannot afford the regular brick and mortar homes or block and steel homes because what they're living in is just deplorable very deplorable conditions is another option as well because our grandparents lived in wood homes and they survived earthquakes and hurricanes and everything like that show you some buildings with touch where we're coming from right and wattle and dub and all of those things they were living in them and they survived so i'm not sure why all of a sudden when someone comes up with ideas the people they're not giving ideas as to what we're doing but they are quick to jump on an idea and um blast that idea people are out there living in shacks that has no door no windows it's just a piece of old board old zinc whatever they can put their hands on that's what they use to cover themselves so what is better it's you know it's like people are not getting their priorities straight right so that's my piece so you can put um what, what you think in the comment section let me know because uh, so many of my viewers or subscribers they are with me saying that it's better than the shacks that they see people living in i'm excited to see what they do because they're on the ground and they want to to make a difference in the housing industry and they're working with the national housing trust so that it would be approved by the national housing trust if it's not yet approved right i think they said that um they are working with the national housing trust so that people are able to get loans to get these homes right and again they're looking at the lower socioeconomic scale people who have low pay scale or no pay scale right that's where the focus is so let me know what you think about this bamboo industry and if if it would be feasible for jamaica because i see a lot of comments saying that jamaica has earthquake storms they have hurricanes you know tropical storms and all of that um, would it be feasible but contractors or researchers are saying that they will stand up to all of that right earthquake 
hurricane storm river in 2021 industry association nhd closer to implementing affordable bamboo housing it goes on to say when it comes to housing construction in jamaica you can expect to see basic materials like concrete and wood but with the housing prices becoming more elusive for low to middle income earners developers and housing agencies are going back to the joint board national housing trust for example is pumping 54 million into a project to explore the potential use of bamboo in affordable housing the project is in collaboration with the bureau of standards so they want to make sure this is approved by the bureau of standard that's the bsj and the bamboo industry association of jamaica and the chairman of course is robert redford the, he said that the first year was just a proprietary work and now they're into year two so that two years ago or a year and plus ago right now they're back on track and they're going to continue the research and the work into developing a product that will be suitable and functional and of course affordable right so we will keep our eyes open on this he said that the first year was just proprietary year two is now when the research starts so that was a couple years ago year three they will set up a facility where you can see the physical house so i can't wait to see the physical house complete showing you what they did it's exciting because we need other options not just the regular block and steel most homes in jamaica are made that way some of them are prefab materials they bring them onto the site and they set them up in one or two days let's see how it works and we'll keep you posted as they release more information thank you so much for joining me on this video please remember to like the video so youtube is able to promote it to other viewers Take care of yourselves and others. Bye for now. See you on the next video.